This week I was so excited because I got accepted for chat GPT search. Yes, I was on the waiting list. This is November the 1st, 2024. I finally got approved and I can use chat GPT search. Now everyone's probably been using search in Copilot or, or Gemini, or in fact, you're probably doing, doing a lot of searching even in chat GPT. But in this case, ChatGP has a specific search engine. In this video, we're going to talk about um, an overview that I've done for you. I'm going to show you how search works in ChatGPT. It's a little different, and I'll show you how that occurs. And we're also going to show you on a mobile. We're then going to do a search in ChatGPT and compare it to Google Chrome and their new AI overview. And we'll see how the two compare and let you be the judge. So let's get on with this video. I didn't realize ChatGPT could do this. Meet ChatGPT's new search feature. Imagine having real-time info at your fingertips. Need the latest news? Bam, it's there. Want to fact check something? Done. Before, ChatGPT was like an encyclopedia with a cutoff date. Now, it's your up to the minute assistant. Students, researchers, and professionals can stay updated without endless Googling. Shopping for the best deals? ChatGPT's got you covered with current prices and reviews. And news junkies, you're in for a treat planning a trip or making a big decision. ChatGPT uses real-time data to help you out. It's fast, accurate, and incredibly convenient. So what are you waiting for? Dive into the future with ChatGPT's search feature today. OpenAI recently introduced a new feature in ChatGPT, an integrated search capability that allows ChatGPT to access real-time information from the web. This enhancement fundamentally changes how users interact with the model, taking it from a static source of knowledge to a dynamic, up-to-date assistant capable of answering current questions, fact-checking, and much more. Here's a look at the key advantages of using ChatGPT's new search feature and how it's transforming the AI experience for users across all industries. New features in this product include real-time information access, fact-checking and verification, efficient research for professionals and students, a more informed shopping experience, dynamic and interactive news source, enhanced decision-making with real-time data, customizable with reliable sources, and increased efficiency and convenience. Now, if you look at the diagram here, you'll see that this is my chat GPT sort of homepage. And now you'll see the added search feature, which will be the search button that you're going to use to initiate a search within chat GPT. If you don't see that button, you do not have the search capability built in yet, but it should be coming. If you do have the plus version, then you definitely will see that today when you access ChatGPT. All right, this is my Pixel 8 Pro. You'll see the ChatGPT icon. We're going to click this and open it. And there you'll see at the bottom, you'll see the search feature. It's highlighted now in blue as I click search. And if I want to put any text in, I can just type the text in there for a search. And that is how you use ChatGPT search on your mobile device. All right, now let's do a search with ChatGPT. So I'm going to click on the search icon here and we're going to open up a search result. I'm going to type in or we're going to paste in uh, what I would like to search for. I am a snowbird traveling to Casa Grande and need a list of local RV parks. I play golf, so would like ones close to golf courses. Let's see what it comes up with on our search. So here, here, is, uh, here is what it's found. It's found um, the RV parks that I've asked for. And again, I could expand the search. Uh, you could dictate, actually dictate into this window up here in your search. And you could, of course, go on and on and refine your search as you want. And it's going to find the information you've requested. These are the parks. If you click on the blue link here, it will take you to their website. Let's come down to the bottom here and let's look at the sources. Where did it find this information? 
Well, here it is. We can find all the more all the references that it used to find this information right on the right hand side. That's pretty cool. I think very informative. But let's see how Google does comparing to this, okay? All right, we're back over on my desktop and we have, of course, Google search open. Let's type the same information in. We'll just paste this in. This is the same information. And let's see what happens when I do a search. Well, I was pretty fast. <laughs> anyway, uh, the first thing I want you to notice as you're looking at this is you will see this new AI overview here. This is something that would roll out the last few weeks and you all should have this now on your Google search. This is, uh, if you look down here at the bottom, you'll see the traditional search, but what uh, Google Chrome now has is called an AI overview that's going to summarize the information at the bottom and present it at the top. So let's see how well it did as compared to ChatGPT. Well, let's show more and let's have a look. Well, we have a number of RV parks that they have uh, that they have recommended here along the side. And if we come over to the right, you'll see uh, you'll see all the references, and you can see all the references on the right hand side that uh, Google Chrome used to find this information. Now, the only thing I can tell you about this is I used to live in Mesa for 10 years. I can tell you that the Mesa Regal RV Resort and Eagle View RV Resort are nowhere near Casa Grande. They're actually in Mesa. So very interesting. Well, I don't think Google quite was, was as quite accurate. But anyway, that's comparing the two. Well, it's Ron Brown with Tech for Senior. What do you think? of ChatGPT's new search capability. I'd sure appreciate it if you give it a try and compare it to Google Chrome. Hey, compare it to the search engine you use now. Is it going to be better? Is it going to be faster? Is it going to be all the things they say it is? Well, I just compared the two to Google Chrome search and a ChatGPT search. I'd like you to give it a try, but before you do that, please click that like and subscribe. We'd sure appreciate that. It helps the channel. After you give it a try, put a comment in the chat. Let us know what you think. Is, is ChatGPT something you would be interested in? And are you going to give it a try? Remember, until we see you again, have a great day.